we have already studied about the terminologies involved in the circle now it's time to study about the theorems and the very first theorem is equal arcs of a circle subtend equal angles at the center it means in a circle if we have more than one arc suppose in this circle here we have two arcs arc ab and arc dc if length of arc ab and arc dc if that length is same then angle made by these arcs in this case angle made by arc ab is angle aob and angle made by arc dc is angle doc if the length of ab and dc is same in that case this angle here angle aob and angle doc will be same to make this theorem more clear what we can do let's try to draw a circle and highlight equal length of arcs and see if the angles made by those arcs are the equal i am going to draw a circle suppose the radius of the circle is say 3 this is the circle here let's cut two arcs from this circle of the equal length i have the circle here of radius 3 cm and i have two arcs here this arc here and this arc here let's highlight both these arcs so that we can see them clearly now these two arcs this arc and this arc if the length of this arc and this arc both are same in that case what the theorem says is this angle here and this angle here in the center both will be same let's measure the length of this arc and this arc and see if these two angles are they actually equal length of this arc is 4.45 centimeters length of this arc is also 4.45 centimeter now you can see length of this arc and this arc they are same now let's try to measure the angle made by these two arcs this angle here and this angle here this angle is 85 degrees let's see what is this angle here this angle is also 85 degrees now you can see in this circle here with radius 3 let's mark the radius also radius of this circle is 3 centimeter this arc here and this arc here both the arcs have same length 4.45 centimeter and this arc here is 4.45 centimeters you can see if we have two equal lengths of arc then the angle made by both the arcs would be same now suppose if i draw one more arc here of the same length then the angle made by even that arc will be same as these two angles so in short what it says is if we have more than one arc and all of them have same lengths then the angle made by those arcs will be same the next theorem here is equal arcs of a circle produces equal chords in this circle here we have taken two arcs arc ab and arc dc if length of this arc ab and length of this arc dc if that is equal in that case the chords made by those arcs this chord here ab made by this arc ab and this chord here dc made by this arc dc would also be same we will do the same thing we'll draw a circle we will take two equal arcs and see if the chords made by those arcs are they equal i have the circle here this arc and this arc if I measure the length of this arc and this arc, this is 5.79, this is also 5.79. Means length of both the arcs is same. Let's draw the chord also. This chord here for this arc, this chord here for this arc. If I measure the length of these two chords, they also should be same because as per theorem, equal arcs will produce equal chords. Let's measure the length of this chord and this chord. Length of this chord is 4.93 length of this chord is also 4.93 now it is clear that equal arcs will produce equal chords as well perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord bisects the chord we have the circle here and this is the center point o and this is the chord here chord bc now if i draw a perpendicular from this center to this chord bc this is the perpendicular 90 degrees in that case what it says is that perpendicular bisects the chord means bd will be equal to dc let's draw a circle and try to understand this theorem in the same way what we have done earlier let's draw a circle i have this circle here let's draw a random chord in this circle here this is the chord of this circle 
Now let's draw the perpendicular. This is the perpendicular here on this chord. This angle here would be 90 degrees. Now if this perpendicular is bisecting this chord then length from this end to this point and from this point to this point would be equal. Length from this end to this end is 3.72. Length from this end to this end is also 3.72. It means perpendicular drawn from the center on any of the chords in a circle will be bisecting that chord. Equal length chords will be equidistant from the center of the circle. We have the circle here and two chords chord AB and chord DC. What it says is if length of AB is equal to DC then distance of chord AB from this center O this distance and the distance of this chord DC from the same center here will be same. It means if suppose I highlight this as P and this is Q distance of AB from center O means OP will be equal to distance of DC from O which is OQ. OP will be equal to OQ. Since OP is the distance of AB from center O this will be 90 degrees. Same applies to this means OP will be perpendicular to AB and OQ will be perpendicular to DC. Let's draw a circle and understand this theorem as well. Let's draw a circle here. It says two equal chords. I draw a random chord on this circle here. Now I have to draw a chord which is equal to this length. Length of this chord and length of this chord, they are supposed to be equal. Let's try to measure the length of these two chords. Both the chords have the same length 4.84. Now let's try to find out the distance of both the chords from the center. For that what I need to do is I need to draw a perpendicular from the center to both the chords. This is the perpendicular on this chord and this is the perpendicular on this chord. Angles are supposed to be 90 degrees. Okay, okay. Length of both the chords are equal. Now as per theorem, if we have two equal chords, then the distance of both the chords from the center should be equal. It means length of this line and length of this line both should be equal. Let's try to measure them. Length of this perpendicular is 1.77. Length of this perpendicular is also 1.77. It means what we have understood is equal chords will have equal distances from the center. Longer the chord nearer to the center. It means suppose in this circle here we have two chords A, B and C, D and this is the center O. What it says is the chords which are drawn nearer to the center are bigger than those chords which are drawn away from the center. Now if you see this chord A, B this chord AB is much closer to the center comparing to the chord CD. Means as we squeeze the distance from chord to the center, the length of the chord increases. As we go away from the center, length of the chord decreases. Let's try to draw a circle and see how does it work. Let's draw a circle here. I have a circle here and I'll draw a couple of chords here. I have these four chords here and this is the center of the circle. If I draw perpendiculars from the center of the circle to all these chords then the longest chord will have the shortest distance from the center. Let's draw some perpendiculars on all these chords from the center of the circle. I have one, two, three, four chords here and I have drawn perpendiculars on all the chords from the center of the circle. Now let's measure the lengths of these perpendiculars. I have measured the lengths of all the perpendiculars. Now the smallest perpendicular is this 1.33 going on this chord. And the longest perpendicular is this going on this chord. Now if I take the length of this chord and this chord, this should be the longest chord and this should be the shortest chord because the longest chord is always closer to the center. Now let's measure the length of this chord here. Now I have length of all the perpendiculars and all the chords. The shortest perpendicular is this 1.33 and the longest chord is this 5.38 comparing other three chords. This chord is 5.38 which is longest in all these four chords 
and the perpendicular from the center to this longest chord is shortest 1.33. If you see this red perpendicular, which is the longest perpendicular, the length is 2.67 and the chord is 2.76. This chord is the shortest chord comparing other three chords here. So now we understood that nearer to the center will be the longest chord and the chord far away from the center will be the shortest chord.